You need to know the difference between mouse poop and bat poop. They do look alike. The difference is the mouse poop is kind of everywhere. They're not really, they don't have latrines, whereas bats, you'll see them up in the attic or in a garage attic or in a barn attic. And it'll be like a, a pile. If you see little small piles here and there, well, that's kind of individual male bats. Generally, the roosts are female and they'll be poop everywhere. You'll have hundreds of bats and that's quite a problem. Males generally are loners and so you'll see small, small areas. And at that point, you need to realize how they're getting in from an exterior inspection. Generally, walk around the house and look for droppings. These resemble mouse droppings, rat droppings, however there's many of them. Generally the other vermin will spread it out. Bats will be dropping it down. Once you see this and there's a lot of it uh, close together like this, then you kind of want to look up. And what you want to do is look up and look for gaps and holes. And here you'll see the chimney has a small gap in the soffit. And bats generally only need three-eighths of an inch to fit. Uh, large brown bats or small brown bats can fit in three-eighths of an inch and you can see how they can get up in there. Now there wasn't that much guano on the outside so it could possibly just be a few lone male bats. You can see here where it's dropping down on the window ledge and this is definitely not a mouse. So you know you have a bat up there or several bats. You can also look outside and if you see stains or wear here you can see stains on the top of a barn and not only that if you look up close it looks like rubber marks. It's dark marks and that is probably a huge root. Uh, generally, you don't see bats during the day. If you do see them in the day, they're flying around because somebody spooked them with something. And you really shouldn't do that because they are endangered. Um, if you see them at night, they generally come out right at dusk. Usually, right when it gets dusk, you got about 15 to 20 minutes. Walk around the house and look for bats flying out. When you go in your attic, you can see them during the day. They usually hang in the, so in the soffits or up in the ridges where it's the warmest. And with the infrared thermal imaging camera, you can see the red in this picture where there's a lot of bats. Now if you go into attics and you start to see a lot of guano like this then you could very well have literally hundreds of bats and that would require a major bat abatement and a bat abatement should be done by professionals because not only do you deal with the bats but now you have bat guano and bat mites. If you have any questions pertaining to your house, you can Google call Marco with a question and we could try to solve your house problem, wish your problem, odor problem, pest problem or any other house problem online or on the phone or you can send us photos. We do have a $29 charge. So Google call Marco with a question and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you. This is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Please subscribe.